Following his defeat to Obi-Wan on Mustafar, Darth Vader lost practically everything he once possessed. His limbs, his wife, and most importantly for the purposes of this video, his lightsaber. Of course, it wouldn't take Vader long to construct a new lightsaber, one with a crimson blade that was better suited to his new Sith persona. But Darth Vader's new lightsaber following the events of Revenge of the Sith, as it now appears in canon, is different than it was in Legends, both in how Vader ultimately constructed the lightsaber and in the inner workings of the saber itself. In this video expose, I will explain the differences between Darth Vader's lightsaber as it previously existed in Legends and how it now appears in the current canon. Before we start, I'd just like to warn everyone that this video will contain spoilers for the first three issues of the newly released Darth Vader comic and the novel Dark Lord The Rise of Darth Vader, and therefore, proceed with caution. Let's start with what we know about Darth Vader's Sith lightsaber immediately after Revenge of the Sith within the canon. Although the story is still being revealed in the Darth Vader comic, we currently know enough through the first three issues to say that there are dramatic changes to the lightsaber that have been made that differs greatly from the lightsaber seen within Legends. Immediately after Vader is provided with his new cybernetic armor and informed by Sidious that Padme was dead, the discussion between the two Sith Lords went almost immediately to the topic of Vader's lightsaber. Whereas Vader saw that his lightsaber had been stolen by Obi-Wan on Mustafar, Sidious was quick to correct his apprentice and tell him that the weapon taken by Obi-Wan belonged to someone else, thereby requiring Vader to obtain a new blade. After informing Vader that a Sith's lightsaber was red due to the fact that the kyber crystals used within a Jedi's lightsaber were taken and then made to bleed as a type of corruption, Sidious passed along an even more important point to his new apprentice. The lightsaber of a true Sith could not be given. It must be taken. That is to say, a Jedi's lightsaber couldn't merely be handed over to a Sith for them to corrupt the kyber crystal inside and then use within their own lightsaber. The Sith Apprentice had to track down a Jedi, defeat them, and then corrupt their kyber crystal to be used as their own. This was no small point, as the Empire was in possession of hundreds of Jedi lightsabers after Order 66, in which Sidious could have simply handed over to Vader to corrupt its crystal and then use in the construction of his lightsaber. However, Sidious viewed the situation as a test for his new Apprentice. Given that Vader needed a lightsaber, Sidious instructed him to seek out a Jedi who survived Order 66 and to take the kyber crystal from their lightsaber so that he could corrupt it and utilize it himself. Although the story of Vader's journey is still being played out in subsequent issues of the Darth Vader comic, we know two important aspects about Darth Vader's lightsaber immediately after Revenge of the Sith in the current canon. First, the crystal that powers the weapon will be a legitimate kyber crystal that will go through the process of corruption and be made to bleed to obtain its crimson appearance. And second, Vader will figure prominently in the construction of his own lightsaber, wherein he obtains the kyber crystal himself as part of a test undertaken at the behest of Sidious. Taking a look at the Legends material, specifically Dark Lord The Rise of Darth Vader, we can see that these are two crucial differences. In Legends, Vader did not obtain the kyber crystal for his first lightsaber himself. In fact, his lightsaber didn't use a kyber crystal at all. It utilized a red synthetic lightsaber crystal, or synth crystal, that was simply given to him by Sidious. A synth crystal was a type of lightsaber crystal that was created artificially and did not grow naturally like a kyber crystal did. Therefore, in Legends, we didn't have Vader journey to find a crystal to be used in his lightsaber as a type of test. A synthetic one was merely given to him following the events of Revenge of the Sith. Nor did we see Vader obtain a crimson blade by corrupting or bleeding a kyber crystal. Interesting enough, in Legends, Sidious also provided Vader with his own lightsaber to be used as a model for his apprentice to craft a similar one. However, although Vader appreciated the handiwork of Sidious's hilt, it didn't fit right with him, and Vader ultimately crafted a lightsaber that was similar to that of Anakin Skywalker, 
just simply a black version. Although we don't yet know the exact specifications of Vader's first lightsaber hilt directly after Revenge of the Sith in the current canon, I can see the same type of mimicking of Anakin's lightsaber occur right away, given what we know about his lightsaber by the time of the original trilogy. But in Legends, we did know a lot about the specifications of Vader's first saber. It had a thick, rigid hand grip, a high output didium power cell, a dual phase focusing crystal, and forward mounted adjustment knobs. So there we have it! How Disney changed Darth Vader's lightsaber in the current canon from that seen previously in Legends. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions? Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For forward-mounted adjustment knobs.